Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is part three. And if you didn't watch parts one and two, you might want to watch them. Pretty interesting. I still think it'd be easier just to start over, but this uh, young lady last night needed help, and I, I tried to fix it to her for her, and I thought, so we've already fixed these two, and it was not very involved, but this one has tabs on four sides. And if you didn't watch the first video, we're trying to get rid of this rounded corner. So, being that this is equal, all four sides are the same, and if you want to test it, you can control D and make a duplicate, and then mirror it, and it just, it's all, it's perfect, it's all on top. So just move it out of the way and hit P. Now we're gonna take a two point line, and like I said, this is totally unorthodox, but uh, it would work, or I'm pretty sure it'll work, and it'll save us a little time. So now we're gonna take the Smart Fill tool and fill in this square. We can literally just move it out of the way, and then we can left click, right click, and if you kind of see what I'm doing, I'm eliminating a lot of work you only have to do it a quarter of the time. So I'm gonna go here, go all the way to that. Yeah, we, oh, we can just go right to the right there. No, you know what? We're gonna have to move that node too. So let's, we're, at, we're actually going out. Uh, we shouldn't really have to worry about those corner nodes, but we're gonna go all the way from corner to corner. Now, if you remember from the other two videos, we nudged this up three inches. And then we're going to go ahead and do this line at the same time. So we're going to take our two-point line and go from that end to that end and nudge it over. Now we can take our Smart Fill tool and fill this in. And what that did, that got rid of those bad corners. Now I can left-click, right-click, and if you look, now I have good, clean corners. Now all we have to do is take our shape tool and grab these nodes. And it's a lot easier to grab just a few and nudge them up and grab all these nodes. Like I said, this is maybe unorthodox, but a fun way to do it. Now we're done. We've got six millimeter joints. Now, if this works correctly, it'll be pretty cool. Let's get rid of these lines. Matter of fact, let's get rid of all this. Sorry about that. My calculator is right by my delete button. You know what? We're going to save this. We'll put it there. Now, I'm going to control D and make a duplicate. And I'm going to move it over here. And then I'm going to select both these. I'm going to control D and make a duplicate. Holding down the control button so it mirrors it that way. Now let's take our virtual segment delete key and delete those inner lines. Now I would probably still, because they're still parts, take your smart fill tool and fill that in. Move this out of the way. Left click. I'm going to make it black so we can tell if it worked. So now we can take this one and hit P, take this one and hit P. They're exactly on top of themselves, with the exception my black one has six millimeter lines. And all the lines are square. If you look, this one has these rounded corners and we had, uh, we had not changed it to six millimeters. So then just delete this red one, and there's your other joint. Now I'd go ahead and make it red and make sure it's a hairline. So this one was actually quicker than the other two. And as always, I would test my joints. You know, you bought, this young lady bought this file, and I would just make sure in the way to test it, I've done several videos on this, would be able to grab all these and, and we also, we didn't fix this one, but it's the same as the other one. So I'm gonna make a complete duplicate of that. 
And then to test it, I would just test this part. Let's just delete. So I would take right here and take a rectangle, maybe make it a little bit bigger, and take the Smart Fill tool and fill that in. Move it out of the way. Take my other joint that's relatively on top of that. Take the rectangle tool. And grab, you know, go about that far. Take your Smart Fill tool and fill that in. Now, remember if we made a duplicate so we can get rid of all this. And then just left click, right click, and cut these two pieces out, you know, out of a scrap piece of wood or plywood, whatever you're using. I like making these out of plywood because it makes them really, really strong. And then just test and make sure those don't fit. And, and you, at the same time, you can test to make sure you're six millimeters. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.